Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the latest version of the Fortini F4 flight controller from Fuse FEB. In this video I'm going to quickly go over its features and then I'm going to mount it on the AGRC Mephisto and head outdoors and test it out. The Fortini F4 flight controller comes well protected inside this plastic case. Inside we can find the flight controller and also this warning that tells you that you shouldn't exceed 300 degrees Celsius because otherwise you might destroy the pads of the flight controller. Inside the mounting holes you can find four silicone dampers which is a nice add-on and inside the package you can also find four aluminum spacers and the user manual. The 14 f 4 flight controller is very compact but don't let its size fool you. It features an F4 processor, a 2602-32 kHz gyro and six UARTs which is probably more than you will need. In addition it supports both Foxeer and Runcam camera controls and it comes pre-flashed with Betaflight 3.5.2. In terms of dimensions, the flight controller weighs 6.29 grams, including the rubber spacers. Its inner dimensions are about 26.7 by 31.1 millimeters, and its outer dimensions are 36.6 by 37 by 6 millimeters. This flight controller is designed to work with both individual and 4-in-1 ACs, so in addition for having four signal pads on each corner, you can also find four more signal pads over here. The battery pads are pretty small and they are located over here, and this flight controller can connect directly to a LiPo battery between two to six cells. The pads for the camera are conveniently located on the front, and the working voltage of the camera is 5 volts. You can also choose between Foxeer and Runcam camera controls, so if you're not going to bridge these two pads, it's going to be set to run camera control. And if you're going to bridge these two pads over here, it's going to be set to Foxeer camera control. The pads for connecting the VTX are located over here on the back. So we've got over here the ground, then the VBAT and the video out. And if you wish to use 5 volts for the VTX, you can just use this pad over here. Since this flight controller is pretty crowded, not everything is marked on the flight controller, so just refer to the user manual, which is also available online, and everything is explained pretty well. Just as a side note, because everything is pretty close to each other, I recommend to pay extra attention when soldering your connectors. Now I've got everything connected on the AJRC Mephisto, and by the way, I did have a small issue with the camera where it just didn't power up, so if it happens to you and all you see on your screen is just the OSD layout, it means that the camera is not getting any power. And what I recommend to do is just to use the plus 5 volts and ground pads over here. The next thing I'm going to do is to go over with the flight settings and also wrap everything up. And then I'm going to head outdoors and test it out. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye. Make it seem like we feel the same. We love